In 9 BC, a monumental event marked the heart of Rome and symbolized the culmination of a vision for peace and prosperity under the rule of Augustus Caesar. The Era Passus Augustae, or the Altar of Augustan Peace, was dedicated amidst celebrations that captured the spirit of an age. This stunning structure was more than just an altar, it was a powerful propaganda tool, an artistic masterpiece, and a lasting testament to the transformative era known as the Pax Romana. The story of the Era Passus is woven with themes of political strategy, artistic innovation, and cultural significance. It tells of a leader who understood the power of symbolism and public imagery in consolidating his authority and promoting an idealized vision of Rome. Join me as we delve into the history surrounding the dedication of the Era Passus, exploring the circumstances that led to its creation, the artistry that went into its design, and its profound impact on Roman society and culture. The Historical Context Rome under Augustus in 9 BC, Rome was undergoing a profound transformation under the leadership of Augustus. After years of civil strife, marked by the downfall of the Republic and the rise of authoritarian rule, Augustus had established himself as the first emperor. The end of the Roman civil wars had ushered in a new era of stability known as the Pax Romana, a period that would last for over two centuries. Augustus understood that this newfound peace needed to be celebrated and perpetuated. To do so, he embarked on a series of ambitious construction projects, aimed at glorifying the empire and embedding his legacy within its very fabric. The Era Passus was one such project, envisioned as a sacred space dedicated to the goddess Pax, symbolizing peace and prosperity for the Roman people. The purpose of the Era Passus, celebrating peace and abundance The dedication of the Era Passus served several key purposes, commemoration of military victories, the altar was designed to celebrate Augustus's successful campaigns, particularly his victories in Gaul and Spain, which had brought wealth and stability to Rome. It was a public acknowledgement of the emperor's role in securing peace through military strength. Religious Significance The altar served as a focal point for religious ceremonies. It was not only a place for worship but also a representation of Augustus's commitment to restoring traditional Roman values and piety. Civic Pride and Identity By dedicating the Era Passus, Augustus sought to cultivate a sense of Roman identity among the citizens. It was a reminder of their shared heritage and the flourishing of Rome under his leadership. The design and construction of the Era Passus The Era Passus was commissioned in 13 BC, after Augustus returned from his successful military campaigns. Its design was a fusion of traditional Roman architecture with Greek influences, reflecting the cultural heritage of the empire. Architectural Features 1. Structure the Era Passus was built as an open-air altar, encased in a large marble enclosure. 1. Its rectangular form measured approximately 11.5 meters long and 10.5 meters wide, making it an impressive structure within the landscape of Rome. 2. Materials Constructed primarily of Carrara marble, the altar showcased the wealth and artistic ambition of the Augustan regime. 2. The white marble gleamed in the sunlight, embodying the purity and divinity associated with peace. Decorative reliefs The walls of the Era Passus were adorned with intricate relief sculptures that depicted various scenes. These reliefs served not only as decorative elements but also as narratives that conveyed Augustus's ideals. Frieze of Procession one of the most notable features is the procession of the imperial family, where Augustus, his wife Livia, and their children are depicted among priests and citizens. This scene emphasized the importance of familial piety and the continuity of leadership. Mythological imagery. The reliefs also featured mythological figures, including Tellus, the goddess of the earth, and Pax, symbolizing peace. These figures reinforced the altar's themes of fertility, abundance, and the divine favor granted to Augustus. Nature and Abundance Several reliefs depicted floral motifs and animals, celebrating the bounty of the earth and the prosperity brought about by Augustus's rule. This imagery tied the idea of peace directly to the health of the land and its people. The Dedication Ceremony a day of celebration the dedication of the Era Passus took place amidst grand ceremonies that reflected the significance of the occasion. Augustus ensured that this event was a display of Roman power and unity. 
A grand procession the dedication began with a procession through the streets of Rome. Citizens, officials and military leaders gathered to honor the occasion. The atmosphere was one of festivity, with music, banners, and symbols of peace adorning the streets. 1. Sacrifices and Offerings. As part of the ceremony, sacrifices were made to the gods, demonstrating Augustus's piety and his role as a mediator between the divine and the human realm. 1. These rituals underscored the connection between peace and the favor of the gods. Speeches and proclamations Augustus himself likely delivered a speech that highlighted his achievements and the importance of the era passus as a symbol of peace. He spoke of his commitment to the Roman people and his desire to ensure the continuity of stability and prosperity. 1. Pledges of loyalty. Senators and citizens would have pledged their loyalty to Augustus, reinforcing the bond between the ruler and his people. The significance of the era passus, a new Roman identity the dedication of the era passus marked a pivotal moment in the development of a new Roman identity. It was a tangible manifestation of Augustus's vision for Rome and the ideals he wished to promote. A propaganda tool the era passus served as a powerful propaganda tool, reinforcing Augustus's image as the restorer of peace and the father of the nation. By associating his rule with divine favor and prosperity, Augustus sought to legitimize his power and ensure its acceptance among the populace. The cult of personality the altar also contributed to the cult of personality that surrounded Augustus. The reliefs depicted not just political figures but also idealized versions of Roman virtue, tying Augustus's reign to the moral and cultural revival of Rome. Influence on future generations the era passus set a precedent for future rulers and emperors. It illustrated the power of monumental architecture in shaping public perception and underscored the importance of peace in the imperial narrative. Future emperors would continue to use art and architecture to promote their agendas, drawing inspiration from Augustus's vision. The era passus through the ages the era passus did not merely fade into obscurity after its dedication. Instead, it underwent various transformations and interpretations throughout history. Imperial era to decline during the imperial era, the era passus continued to serve as a site of veneration. It became associated with the imperial cult, where offerings and rituals were performed in honor of the emperor. Christianization and transformation with the rise of Christianity in the late Roman Empire, the focus of worship shifted. The era passus was eventually neglected, and the structure fell into disrepair. It became buried under the changing landscape of Rome. Rediscovery and reconstruction in the 16th century, the era passus was rediscovered during construction work in Rome. Over the following centuries, it underwent various restorations, culminating in a major reconstruction in the 20th century. The Museo dell'Ara Passus, completed in 2006, showcases the altar in a modern setting, inviting visitors to engage with this ancient symbol of peace and prosperity. The legacy of the era passus The era passus remains one of the most significant monuments of ancient Rome, reflecting the complex interplay between politics, religion, and culture during Augustus's reign. Artistic mastery The artistic achievements of the era passus are still celebrated today. Its intricate reliefs and thoughtful design highlight the skill of Roman artisans and their ability to convey complex narratives through sculpture. Symbol of peace as a symbol of peace, the era passus continues to resonate in contemporary discussions about the importance of harmony and stability in society. Its legacy inspires modern leaders to seek peaceful resolutions and to celebrate the achievements of their nations. Cultural heritage The era passus is now regarded as a vital part of world heritage, representing the cultural achievements of ancient Rome. It attracts scholars, artists, and tourists alike ensuring that the memory of Augustus and his vision for peace endures. Conclusion. A lasting testament to Augustus the dedication of the era passus in 9 BC was a defining moment in Roman history. It served as a powerful symbol of Augustus's achievements and a testament to the peace and prosperity he sought to establish. Through this monumental altar, Augustus embedded his legacy into the very fabric of Roman life, ensuring that each generation would remember the importance of peace, stability, and the ideals of the Roman state. The story of the era passus is not just about an altar, 
It is a narrative of transformation, a celebration of art and architecture, and a powerful reminder of how symbols can shape collective identity. As we reflect on the legacy of Augustus and the era passes, we are reminded of the enduring power of peace and the role of leadership in shaping the course of history.